What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. And this week's Monday Night Raw is officially over, so it is time to round it up. Discuss some of the highlights, the latest backstage news in the WWE. Something very interesting that Paul Heyman ended up discussing about his weekly backstage involvement. The latest on Extreme Rules and a potential imminent return. A massive push that is on the work and much more. But before we get into all of that, you guys already know, make sure to elbow drop it and if you haven't, and subscribe turn on those notifications to be completely up to date on all the latest in pro wrestling nonetheless uh, let's get into it and let's round it up so let's start off with something that relates to this week's Monday Night Raw because compared to last week, it certainly felt like it was a letdown and that the WWE didn't continue the momentum. Now granted last week's show wasn't necessarily perfect, but it was better than what we have gotten over the last couple of months. Fast forward a week after that solid show and we get Monday Night Raw tonight, which although was slightly entertaining, my expectations were high and I feel like WWE failed in some aspect. And before we recap the show an interesting report that i was reading today is in regards to paul Heyman saying that changes to wwe raw will actually take some time and tonight was a great representation of that we certainly cannot help paul Heyman responsible for every single role especially right now when he just got started in that position so as you guys know he was brought in as the new wwe executive director of monday night raw and a lot of changes are said to be made but according to fightful select paul Heyman has made it obvious that that is not gonna be happening at the weekly rate that we probably want to see. The report indicates the following. Paul Heyman himself has been pretty transparent about his role in saying that Vince McMahon will always have the final say and that changes from Heyman's side are going to take some time. And I think this week is a great representation of exactly that. Yes, we got some thumbs up moment. There was actually a bit of a good flow to the show, but there's still a lot of things that continue to be more of the same and most of you guys agree on that i run a quick poll on twitter asking whether this week's monday night row is a thumbs up or thumbs down and batista double thumbs down certainly won this week nonetheless let's go ahead and uh, look at the highlights and round up what exactly went down so to start off the show we got the universal champion seth rollins and, and the raw women's champion becky lynch defeating andrade cien almas and selena vega in a mixed attack team elimination match yes i repeat mixed tag team elimination which the first question that should come through your head is how exactly is this going to work and if you actually saw the match then you probably noticed the fact that wwe only made it an elimination match so that they could stop the wrestling during the commercial break it is annoying so of course on the first couple of minutes we had becky lynch defeating selena vega so now it's time to go to commercial break and then when we come back we get seth rollins versus andrade cien almas selena vega Vega was eliminated and she was still on ringside. Becky Lynch wasn't eliminated and she was just standing there by the apron looking silly because intergender wrestling is not a thing in WWE so she can't get tagged in so what's the point? But I am gonna give a point to creative team because at least it was a creative way to go to commercial while not having any wrestling while having a break in between. Up next we got The Miz and The Uso defeating Raw Tag Team Champions The Revival and Elias. And I mean, the miss is in it, so of course, you know we're gonna be getting another two out of three falls match. At this point, it's certainly annoying that WWE is trying so hard to not do wrestling during commercial. I mean, it's so bad that every single week we have gotten one to two, two out of three falls matches. If you hate repetitive things, all you gotta do is watch these type of matches every single week in the WWE. They will never let you down. Up next, we got Bobby Lashley defeating Rey Mysterio in an open challenge match by Rey Mysterio which Lashley accepted and squashed the returning 619 why would WWE do Rey like that I have no idea but of course they had to make Bobby Lashley look strong because he is going to be taking Braun Strowman in a last man standing match at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view which by the way is this Sunday which automatically makes this Monday Night Raw horrible because it's supposed to be a 
hype pop go home show and it certainly wasn't instead it just felt like a regular monday night raw show cesaro defeated no way jose in a fairly quick match and we got the viking raiders defeating some jobbers which by the end of that match we got the whole 24 7 championship roster chasing drake maverick in and out of the ring the united states champion ricochet defeated lou gallows and kyle anderson in singles competition so you're telling me that you just reunited the club and you're just gonna go ahead and make them look weak the week after sure alongside aj styles at the end they got a beat down to ricochet but i don't think it was necessary for him to defeat both of the club members up next we got nikki cross defeating the smackdown women's champion bailey in a beat the clock challenge to choose the stipulation for bailey versus alexa bliss at extreme rules as for what the stipulation is going to be well nikki cross i guess finally made an interesting decision as she selected a two-on-one handicap match so she's teaming with alexa bliss to take on bailey for the smackdown women's championship and i don't want to get into too many crazy stipulation as of here but could this be setting up for a potential return of a certain superstar sasha banks interestingly enough over the last 24 hours ringside reports are indicating that according to a source in wwe sasha banks return is imminent as apparently everything has moved over the last week or so sasha banks and alexa bliss squashed everything with bailey playing the peacemaker they added that sasha banks is happy with changes being made and that the tantrum is over she just needed a breather so again with her return quote-unquote imminent could it be happening this sunday at extreme rules or could wwe be setting up for it in the near future because all this whole bailey situation certainly feels like it as she continues to feud with not one but two while still being on her own and for the main event we got shane mcmahon and drew mcintyre defeating roman reign and the goat the goat who had a mask and ultimately ended up being cendric alexander this was certainly the best moment of the night the way that they came about was that shane mcmahon and drew mcintyre were searching for someone backstage to team up with roman reigns and of course they were looking for somebody weak they ultimately found someone from maintenance who didn't have any wrestling experience then once it was time to wrestle and tag team with roman reigns he decided to put a mask and under that mask out came cendric alexander so finally he stopped chasing the 24 7 championship certainly a good moment of the night but other than that the big leg down comes in the fact that this sunday is the extreme rules pay-per-view and instead of having the undertaker there to hype up the event wwe didn't even gave us that last week should have been this week's show to get us more hype of what's coming this sunday so that is the roundup and some of the extra news for monday night raw now let's go ahead and discuss two other top reports that we have gotten since the last roundup so to start off somebody that wasn't on the show tonight was braun Strowman as he was selling the injury that he suffered from last week while going through the stage and while we got a big explosion that's not gonna stop him for this sunday though because he got a last man standing match against bobby lashley and new reports are indicating that braun Strowman is set to receive another massive push in the wwe not only is apparently paul Heyman a big fan of the monster among men as he likes his technical style and destructive force of nature another report from ringside indicate how wwe is trying to go back just over a year ago as being a monster just destroying everything in his path seems like they realized that they haven't been using him as effectively as they could so these recent angles are expected to continue this upcoming sunday in his match against bobby lashley expects something crazy to happen and if he is on the verge of receiving this massive push then he is probably going to win that match and sticking with the extreme rules pay-per-view the last report that i got for you guys is related to alistair black as wrestlevote revealed the following i am told that cesaro was the original plan opponent for alistair black for extreme rules and in fact he may still be this was however prior to paul Heyman and eric bishop coming back into the fold no idea if they want something else instead we will see it seems like wwe has changed their mind once again but we will have to wait long to find out because during this week's smackdown live that opponent is supposed to be announced if you're watching this prior to smackdown live then let me know your predictions down in the comments below and let me know your thoughts on this 
week's Monday Night Raw. And that is what I got for you in this roundup episode. If you enjoy, make sure to elbow drop it and subscribe to the channel as we are under 100,000 subscribers. I'm going to see you. Dig it.